versus Asana free project management software comparison. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how Trello and Asana stack up against each other and their free plans and what they have to offer for free. So let's get into it. First off, before I get started with the general platform and user interface, we are going to compare the general bullet points in their pricing to each other. So let's get into that first. First off, we have Trello, and Trello provides you with unlimited cards and unlimited members on its free plan. It gives you over 10 boards per workspace, and you get unlimited power-ups per board. You also have unlimited storage until your file size is less than 10 MB. So as long as you're posting 10 megabyte files, you can upload as many as you want. You also get 250 workspace command runs per month. You also get custom backgrounds and stickers. You get unlimited activity logs, assigning and due dates. You get a iOS and Android mobile app as well. So if you want to manage your projects on the go, you can do that via your smartphone using their application. And you also get two-factor authentication. Now, compared to Asana, which gives you unlimited essentials, so the basic projects, tasks, activity logs, storage, all of that is unlimited on Asana as well, they also give you three project views. Now, they only give you a list board and calendar view, which is pretty lacking in my opinion, uh, although these are the three basic most integral views. Nowadays, um, views like workflow views, timeline views, calendar views, all of these are pretty essential in terms of project management and you won't be able to get all of those on Asana. Now, after that, you also are provided with free integrations with over a hundred apps, including Slack, Outlook, and Google Suite, and some time tracking apps. So you have over a hundred integrations to use. You also get basic reporting in Asana, which is something that lacks in Trello. So you don't get any kind of analytics in Trello. However, in Asana, you do get some basic analytics. Now, Trello provides you with unlimited members, but Asana has a limit. So you have a 15 user limit on Asana if you're running a workspace. So if your business or your project has over 15 people, you're not going to be able to optimally work on the Asana free version and you're going to have to update. So that is something to keep in mind. The only situation in which we can really compare these two is if you're working in a team of less than 15 people, then you can uh, compare both of these. But if, if you have 16 members, then obviously there is no comparison. You're going to have to opt for Trello, even if you do like Asana better, because they provide you with unlimited members. And that is a feature that is pretty outstanding in terms of marketing and general advertisement because a lot of other project management softwares also don't provide you with unlimited members on their free versions. There's all usually a limit and the limit is even up to only two members like on monday.com you can only have two members on their free version so I have to give a kudos to Trello for adding unlimited members on the free version as well. Now moving on to the general overview of both of these platforms. Now on Trello this is your home view and this is your home view on Asana. Both are pretty similar in terms of the items that you get to see. You get to see all of your workspaces and your boards and it's the same on Asana. You can see all of your recent projects over here and all of your recent tasks over here. Now below our boards on Trello you have templates, home, and then you just have your general boards, collections, highlights, workspace table, members, and settings on Trello. Now on Asana, it's a pretty similar uh, bar on the left side. You have your My Tasks box, and I must say it's one of my favorite features on Trello, or oh, on Asana, because this helps you optimize your own work first, and that is pretty essential when you're doing a or using a project management software. You don't want to be drowned out in other people's work. You want to be able to optimally do your own work first, and this board really, really is very essential if you want to keep focused on your own stuff and just monitor everyone else when you're in your free time. When I wake up in the morning, I go to my tasks and I just look at what I have to do and to get started on that. And when my day is about to end, I actually enter the entire workspace to check the overall progress. Now, you can see your own tasks over here on Trello, but it's just not as efficient as the general my task bar that is created on Asana. Now below that you have your inbox, so you're up to date with any of your work or anything you are um, assigned to. Then you also have messages in your inbox as well. 
then you have your reporting and you know this is something that Trello lacks and reporting and analytics so if you need reporting if you need analytics on your workspace and you need to know if the work has been streamlined if everyone has done their work on due time if anything is overdue if if projects are running smoothly if the workflow is being managed optimally all of these different reporting features are available on the free version of Trello you can see you can add any of these uh, bars or pie charts or any uh, any of these resources that that asana provides you for free you can add those check your progress and, and check and monitor your workspace progress now you can customize this you can make it a column donut you can have it in lollipop shapes you can have it in numbers you can include whatever kind of tasks you want to monitor so if you want to create a column for your portfolios you can do that if you want to make a column for a specific person so if a project is owned by jane doe if i want to monitor my progress for a specific person or assignee for a specific employee i can just add their name i can do this i can add their task type or completion status or whatever i want to monitor and i can monitor what they have incomplete and what they have complete and just like that, this is a very useful feature to monitor your employee progress as well. Especially if you're a manager, this is going to be a very essential tool for you to use. Another feature that this this reporting function really gives you is that you can make a client dashboard. Now, a lot of times if you're working with a uh, independent client and you're just outsourcing work, you need your client to be able to see how work is being done and how progress is being made. And for that function, you can also use the client dashboard. Now, if you want to create a dashboard for your client, you're just going to go ahead and add a few charts if client is from your marketing project so let's say if a client gave me the marketing project altogether i'm just going to create a pie chart for the marketing project and i'm going to create a few different kinds of fields and then i'm just going to leave it over here and share it with them so you can add a teammate to to this dashboard and i'm going to add a client or whoever i need to show this to and they can monitor progress without having to actually enter the workspace so that is a feature that is um, definitely a upside for Asana and Trello really does lag behind in general analytics. Now, moving on, you have goals in Asana as well. You can set a company goal and you can do a similar function with progress in uh, Trello, but it's not as effective as uh, the Asana goals is. Now, moving on to your workspaces. So you can see that I have added this uh, workspace called launch of my New York, New York restaurant and you can see I've added a to-do list, I've done a doing list and a done list and what, a what Asana does is that it provides me with the basic views for free so I have list, I have board and I have calendar views. The rest I will have to pay for if I want them. So uh, in general you can work with these three views, they're decent enough. It's nothing to be complaining about. It is sometimes a bit annoying to work Work on the same kind of views all the time however on Trello also you have to pay for the premium version if you want views like this so you only get a board view or a calendar view on Asana I'm sorry you only get a board view or a calendar view on Trello if you're using the free version and the board view of both of them looks pretty similar you have a background on Asana and you can actually customize this background and change it to a photo, a color, or your own custom photo. I can change it to pink like so. And you can make it a bit more appealing to your eye. In your uh, Asana workspace, you cannot do that kind of customization, but you can see I have this uh, tag system on on my uh, Asana workspace and I can customize the tag colors from over here. If I just click this, I can edit options. And I can change the color or the options like so and add more tags. So this is the color range that they provide for your tags and you can add more as you go. Generally, uh, Trello does provide with a similar function, but their task details uh, look pretty similar. If I click at a task over here, so you can see I can add attachment likes, I can create subtasks, assignees, due dates. Now in terms of due dates, you can set it on repeat. So you can create a recurring event on Asana. While on Trello, if we were to add a date, you can add a reminder, but you can't make it a recurring thing. So if you're creating a daily schedule, it's going to get very annoying because you're not going to be able to create a recurring task on Trello while on Asana. 
you can easily optimize your day-to-day workflow and maybe create a recurring event. So maybe Monday to Friday, you have a meeting with your lawyer and you have a meeting with, with them every Monday to Friday, you can add that as a recurring task. Or if you have a periodic meeting with your lawyer after every 10 days, you can add that as well. So automatically it will add that to t- 10 days after the first meeting. And now another uh, good feature about Asana is that their calendar is very effective. They uh, work very optimally and you, you don't have to worry about dates and stuff while on on Trello, all of this calendar and dating stuff is a lot more custom. You can't really just select from the top as well. While on Trello, you can do that. Now, in general, both of these are very powerful project management softwares. And the good point about Trello is unlimited users. The good point about Asana is how it is just so good at keeping your work put together. Now, in general, if I were to give my own opinion, I would suggest that you should opt for Asana if you're a team of less than 15 members. I prefer Asana. I think their tools are more effective and they keep you on time and on track. While on Trello, it can feel a bit outdated sometimes, but they do provide with decent features as well. And if you're really set on not paying for your project management software and you have a large team, then obviously you can opt for Trello. But in any other situation, if you have less than 15 members, opt for Asana. And if if you grow in size and you have more members as you go and now you're like oh now i have 20 members what do i do now you can obviously upgrade or you can move your data to trello over here and then you can start working on trello from there onwards so i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video